Today I'm going to make a creamy Tuscan chicken and that's going to have some delicious spinach and some sun-dried tomatoes and garlic and some other delicious Italian seasonings. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. What I have here are some uh, chicken breasts from the most gargantuan chicken I think that's ever been raised. These things are obscenely enormous. So I'm gonna cut this baby up into manageable and edible sizes. Like that's a normal amount of chicken for a, a person, right? So I'm gonna cut this into like two or three pieces. Let's cut off this fatty pearl stuff. Okay, so I have covered my chicken for safety. So we don't have chicken juice squirting out everywhere when I take my trusty hammer and pound these chicken breasts down. You bad chicken breasts. All right, it's pound them down, pound them down. After we take off our Shiran wrap, season them lightly, and then I'm gonna dredge them. A little bit of flour here that I have also lightly seasoned with some seasoned salt and a few other fun little seasonings. Since this is sort of Italian-y, we're gonna use some Italian seasoning, and we're gonna put that right on the chicken too. So we put a little olive oil in our pan, and what I like to do is use, if you've got a little flavored olive oil, so I've got some basil-infused olive oil there to kind of give it a little extra yumminess. And really, as much as I hate touching this chicken, the best way to dredge it is just to do it with your hands. So you can shake the excess off, put it in there. We may have to do this in batches because my pan's not big enough for all of this enormous amount of chicken. And that's fine because I've got my a little warming station over here, which is where I'm gonna keep my chicken while we make the sauce. So, it's sizzling, it's sizzling. A little baby one. Chicken, <laughs> bite size. Cook them about three minutes a side. You'll know when they're ready and oh yeah, they're looking good. They're nice and brown. I'm just gonna add a little butter just to kinda, you know, add butter because butter's delicious. Oh, yeah. So, oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. So we're just gonna put this in the little warming section over here. Deglaze this pan. And one more. Yes, the janitor, delicious. Get all that goodness out of there. So get that reduced down. And let's add in some mushrooms. Butter in there. Yes. Now, let's add a little garlic and bring out some shallots. I mean, why not? All right. Oh my God, can you smell that? Add just a little more butter in there. Now we're gonna add about a half a cup of that chicken broth. And while that is reducing down, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, I guess we can just throw the rest of this wine away, right? Or no, we'll just throw it right into here and put it to perfectly good use. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so as it's reducing down, add just a little bit more of that Italian seasoning. And then we're about ready to add the cream. Mm. Now, normally I would use heavy cream for this. But sometimes people don't react well to heavy cream. I've got someone in my guest party tonight that does not react well to that lactose, but can handle the butter, which is awesome, and Parmesan cheese, the hard cheeses, so that's good. So I went with a lactose-free whole milk to get it as close to the heavy cream as I possibly can. Let's pour that in there. because then we're gonna start adding the spinach. We're gonna put this much spinach in there. It seems like a lot, but it wilts down. Because that's one thing that I need to add some more. Because it's milk instead of heavy cream, I'm gonna add a little cornstarch just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. Right. Okay, now we're gonna add in, <laughs> we're adding in the sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, so we get the mushrooms and the spinach and the sun-dried tomatoes, oh yeah, and a nice cream. 
Again, a heavy cream would probably be better, but still, it's a good cream sauce. Another way to thicken it up is a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. And that's thickening it up very nicely. And we're gonna wanna add back our chicken to kind of sit in that. There's a little bit of extra juice in here. We'll just add that right into it because that's delicious. Oh yes, that's been cooking for about eight minutes. Let's serve that up and see how it tastes. Looking pretty good with some smashed potatoes. Let's take a little bite here. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. 